Let's take a look at source control inside Boomi. Because Boomi is a graphical user interface tool, there are differences in development between Atomsphere and a traditional coding environment. Most significantly, there is a single copy of processes and components representing the last revision. Now, if you come from a developer background, you may be very accustomed to a version control system like Git or Subversion that allows teams to develop code by recording changes to a code base so that versions of the code can be managed without losing or overwriting anyone's progress. Boomi requires no such version control system because it serves as its own version control with some significant differences that we want to point out. Importantly, there is no working copy or personal copy of a process. You always use the head revision or latest version. There is no checkout or check-in feature, but there is a component locking feature available. Since you are always working with the head revision, there is no concept of merging different process versions. Each component has its own independent revision history, even the process itself. The changes to components are stored in the Boomi data center. Atomsphere is the source control engine. You always have access to the complete history of any component by simply clicking on the revision history link. This is true also for the process itself, which is also a component. There is no external management or import export. There is a single copy of processes and components that represent the last revision. Therefore, all users work with the latest revision. Users do not have their own copy of the entire code set and contribute changes. Instead, the head revision reflects the most recent changes made. There is no trunk versus branch concept. Instead, you can quickly roll back to a previous version by using revision history. As a graphical configuration tool, there is no merge between revisions. Now, if you find that you must keep a backup prior to wholesale changes, you can deploy a process to an environment that has no atom attached. Then you'll have the benefit of reloading that process if you should ever need to, while not incurring any licensing charges since no atoms are attached. One thing you can do to control edits and changes to a component or process is to use folder permissions. Permissions are configured by administrators, and users are assigned roles by these administrators, and those roles get permissions to certain folders. Folder permissions control editing capabilities, but not the visibility of the folder. So if a user does not have permission to a component, they have read-only access for that component. 